Hello everyone, this is Brian, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. You only live Please once, hardcore edition the game, free. where we never ever heal. And here we are not healing at 337 of 445 possible hit points. About us, sort of, uh, got, got about 75% health, just about. And we are now arriving at Fort Drawbridge, the home of Kaisar. Kaisar is here in his fort in Arizona. And we are going to go and finally meet him. We bear the mark of Kaisar. And we are coming in through his camp. So over here, though, we have Siri, a, a free, free woman. woman. It's uh, been a while since I've seen a woman who wasn't that a We slave. are a free woman because perhaps of our giant suit of power armor. And we can well just Alexander. quietly pick up a little bit of Legion oh, faction help here just by saying, actually, okay. your healing powders, you need to use two, not one, per whatever. Uh, or one, not two, or whatever it even is. Uh, so, unfortunately, there's not huge amounts of what you'd call Legion it. content. There aren't all that many quests here. So, it's actually hard to build up a lot of faction with uh, Caesar, Kaisar's Legion. But here he is, Kaisar, and he has forgiven us the one time, and... He, we get to discuss how blind, so mighty and you powerful and tortury he is. You arrive on the strip and waltz into the lucky thirty-eight by some lucky Kaisar talk. You assassinate the head of the chairman blah, 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 in his blah, own blah, casino. Blah. When you set your mind to something, somebody likes me because I do some Question. stuff. How may I serve I your like legion, serve mighty Caesar? Attitude. The time is fast. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked okay, out of the Okay, so he wants to do some... Down the hill. At the west so, end. you know, Mr. House wants us to Even turn on his I secret robot army under the bunker, and Kaisar so wants us to blow it up, and other way. people want now other things. Kaisar says a potty word, and that is good. Now, there's our I old friend Vulpus. There's a gambler. Uh, who sometimes grows used back. to wear foxes on his head. The who run uh, the have become suspicious of Martin. He has some check up on her for mm. you. Martina frequents the vault thing gives shots on the strip. Hurry along, and she still may finger look of suspicion. The and there's a guy back in here. It is a great honor for any in which we can get another quest here. I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough of these quests to really get any extra get any extra Caesar's legions faction. You know, I'd love to get it up so high that after I tick them off again, <laughs> that uh, they w still won't send uh, things against me. But I think the only way to actually do that is that unbelievably boring and actually kind of risky way of uh, collecting dog tags by killing NCR guys. So we'll fix their howitzer for them because we did bring the little part... The news. And go back to whichever of these guys. I think the guy in the back room is Lucius. Yes. Do you have some? Do we have anything to report? Your howitzer well is operational. Thank you. And he bids us Wale. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is Some the actual the actual thing where we go into the bunker finally using this platinum chip. Now the bunker's back here in the what you'd kind of call the back of the fort. And you go back here. Kaisar has permitted your And we get our weapons back just right in this building. Uh, and 
here is at last the console. It's actually sort of anticlimactic that that's what you do with the platinum chip. We we used it. It's it's done. We opened the door. And so now we're in here. Now, in here, there's going to be radiation, so we're going to get our radiation stuff on. There's going to be robots, and that is mostly what there's going to be. Some armor-piercing ammo in the sniper rifle. All right, so here it comes. Oh, and first we get to well, talk to Mr. House. And this he's surprised to... Uh, see us here before he even gave us the order to come here and so we'll say oh hi right we were doing the thing all right so down there just gonna throw some of those little uh pulse grenades down there because there's a robot at the bottom see if we can get him oh shoot it's uh <laughs> Very quickly take off my power armor because those do extra damage to power armor, and we take a point of damage through silliness. Okay, so that is uh, grenade silliness, but yeah, if you accidentally throw a pulse grenade near you, uh, take your power armor off real quick. <laughs> uh, so that was some excitement. Okay, so maybe I should just shoot the darn robot and not... Um... Oh, okay. Well, it worked. That was why we did that, was so we didn't have to come over the steps and hit the protect on. Okay, so in here, you see we're kind of on a little bit of a radiations timer, uh, although we don't lose any radiation during hacks. So by doing the hacks here, we can turn off the the bad things, because there's turrets and there's robots, and we don't want to fight turrets or robots. So now, robots, robots. And then the weird thing is that there's a third one, and that seems to be to allow you to turn on a room of uh, sentry bots, which are, of course, the worst possible thing. So we won't do that. We don't want to fight extra guys. Here's some crud. Lots of nice... Ooh, as as pulse grenades. Good kinds of grenades. Um, especially if you are just about to fight a whole bunch of that stuff, except we are a little bit too heavy, so we'll just not take the plasma rifle. On we go. We don't have to do any of that stuff. So now we've turned off all the kinds of robots. So if you do the first two, you can turn off the turrets and robots. And then we can just run through here. If you turn to do the last one, then there's a room of um, horrible sentry bots. Uh, so that's maybe not recommended. Uh, and there's places in here where you can plant charges and blow it all up if you want to do what Caesar wants. But we want to not do what Caesar wants. We oh, want oh, to use please. the private army of Securitrons for our our own purposes. So we must go to the systems room and again insert platinum chip. Install the upgrade software. You and what army? All right now we just need to get out of here. Minimum amount of irritating radiation time. And we're back. So that actually brings us to the point of how much radiation have we taken this game so far? Uh, radiation 82, not actually very much. That's good, that's good. We are actually doing better on radiation than on health, and that's fine. You've carried not, out Kaisar's not getting, Not getting ready to get radiation sickness, which would be really irritating when we finally, ultimately, get it. Okay, so back to Caesar, Kaisar, if you will, and he's on, pretty stupid. <laughs> he he uh, heard the ground shake uh, as I guess the robots rebelled to life. So we have done that. Now he wants us to kill Mr. House, and we may indeed choose to kill Mr. House soon enough. Uh, but we're not going to do it. We're not going to do that yet. That's getting pretty. I'll wait. Near oh, wait. the end of are the you game. Ready to... So we are ready to return to Cottonwood Cove. Retrieving our confiscated equipment. 
and perhaps taking a drink out of the hopefully not radiated water. It's funny how out here on the dock, even though the guy wears a radiation suit, it's actually not radiated. Uh, but we will probably now choose to fast travel from here. Let's get back up to the free side area. Alright, things to do in Freeside include Smoke talk rising to from the east. Julie Farkas. And let's see. Hum we will work on getting our faction up with these people. Followers. Oh, the apocalypse. I'm not giving them my medex though. <laughs> Thanks for Sure. Okay, and then we can actually get a donation of one of these things, and then we can Hum donate it <laughs> and so we did some fame it looks like we actually get experience point every time we do that I guess we could just turn that stuff into experience points I got a red dot everybody in here is um, not not armed with guns or everybody all the thugs are not armed with guns so we can down no actual, no actual major Can threat. Can I try? Wait, is that the, is that the kid with the, nope, that was not the kid with the little gun. But there's the kid with the gun. Reach for the sky. He's got the special, this the special, is the best... whatever it is, uh, sea finder. You mean it? So I bet we'll me and Stacy just... can get something real. I'll pay him the thousand caps just to not have to worry about it anymore. The problem with Euclid Seafinder is that Welcome it weighs for 10 pounds for some reason, so that's a little <laughs> less exciting. But it does allow us to use the amazing solar death rays like if we say. choose. All right, it's a little selling off at Mick and Ralph's. Do try to. There we go. I'm not sure how to feel about the kings and NCRs. Things were better when the Omertas were. See if he has any little. That's details here. So we'll use that piece of data You're on our when we get to the Omertas. America's quest in the Gamora. Uh, let's see. Right. Let's do his speech years, check. But I'm I think he just makes passports to the strip, which we totally, totally don't need because we've got plenty of caps. Usually, by the time you get here, you don't have any problem uh, <laughs> passing the credit check. Kind of like the idea of you. making it hard to get into. New Vegas, but I think they just set the amounts too low. Now, if they had set it that if you were on, say, hard level, then that you had to do 10,000. That might have been cool. So here we are back at Novak, and we're just going to make some adjustments in our inventory, pick up weapons, put down weapons, repair weapons, do all of the prep that we are going to do. Um, and I think the next... The next plan is actually to go to New Vegas and do some of the New Vegas quests. Uh, the, the one, the hotel quests, the things that you have to do in hotels. Uh, so we will have a little sleep in our bed here. I always like this as my headquarters, even once I can go up the elevator in the Lucky Thirty Eight. Um, there's just there's just something about the hotel room in Novak that keeps me keeps me coming back. I don't think I need all of that many ammo to carry with me. That's why we're getting getting too much weight. <laughs> too much weight in ammo. Alright, so now we're asleep and we're well rested. And off we go. Let's see. Hoover Dam, we need to go ahead and turn in our quest because then the magic lady, Colonel Cassandra Moore, will 
actually kind of send us to New Vegas. We want to be making progress on her stuff. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports. You've proven your Crocker gets hit. Okay. Usually I dispatch. Since the majority. Yes, Make no mistake, there's a battle coming. One such loose end is a gang known as. We've had dealings. You could say we've had then dealings. Then I don't need to tell you that they can. The NCR. That is. They're just another gang of raiders. As what if I find they're committed to join Caesar? Don't fool yourself. Good. No other just questions, ma'am. Yeah, okay, so we've started that quest. And now I think we'll go to the strip. Aha! Aha! I think there's a guy chasing me, and I feel like if I turn around. Ah! <laughs> Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Don't hit me. He didn't hit me. Don't be carrying any guns into the casino. Alright. So let's see. Let's get dressed for town here. And in we go. Hey, hey, baby. So we're going to go through a irritating oh. period where we constantly get our weapons taken from us, which then screws up all of our hotkeys, but there's nothing for it. So back up here... Don't you just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with power and possibilities. To yes, if I man. You, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House, just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR Let's or Caesar's see. Legion to power... I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. Let's see what he... We, okay, so we've got okay. these... Okay, consider them forgotten. Along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten! Huh, forgotten. Is that what we're supposed to do? Hmm. Just that Benny didn't... Check into this some more. Alright, well, so maybe that's. Maybe we'll leave him alone for a while. Alright, so. Out of here. And here's Gamora. So, Gamora filled Hello, with Omeritas. And we want to get some information on what the Omeritas are up up to. I like. All right. So she'll just give us some information. It might come in handy. Don't need a room. Okay. Beg for you. What the fuck are you looking at? So we gotta find Kachino. And the way you do that is just run into a couple the of these guys, and they say potty words, and you say where's Kachino, and they say get out of your face. Um, but once you've started asking for him, asking then he'll appear down here. What the fuck do you and want? he'll say some excellent potty business. words. What the fuck do you mean business? You looking to get yourself burned? And All right, blah, 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 blah. Clear. And I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. Okay. I don't give half a dick what you heard. All right, so that gets him kind of started. And we've got to go get some information on him. But what we want to do first is actually yeah, talk to have? Joanna. Uh, I want to get Joanna's quest done and out of the way before I start... Um, screwing things up here in the Gamora. So, Joanna, we have to go up to a room. Now, she walks really slowly, um, but if you go up into a room and wait, you can actually speed that up let's, a, a let's bit. In my room, Although, first you have to 
then go out the door and in the door. Come here, baby. I'm all... <laughs> and now she's ready, but we just want to talk. And we can diagnose her and discover that she's got some problems, but she really wants to get out, and Kachino bad, Carlitos good, and we say okay, and we try to remember the difference between two guys who start with C, but by following our quest arrow, we can run all the way down the link to the town, whee, and into the funny little, funny little in Vegas vault, and unfortunately you can't do it, go to any of the cool parts of this vault, because it's stuff, but you can go to Carlitos, and hey, sometimes he's in his bed here, sometimes he's at the diner, but you can always talk to him about Joanna. And unfortunately, what he then wants is you to go um, tell Joanna that it's time to escape, but then he's going to make us, then she's going to make us go all the way back to him, so that's just kind of irritating. Now somewhere in here, there's also a room with some stuff, a room with the, uh, what are those things called? Those uh, things that you glow bubble snow globe snow globes snow globes uh the snow globe is in here somewhere but it's in the the locked room all right so that is where okay that is where you would normally be able to go to other parts of a vault but mr house has filled it with cement so that there's no cool stuff left Too bad. Okay, so here is her, the, the lady in the front's room. And in here on her bed is the snow globe. And we can look at her terminal. Get right at the very first guess. Do you have anything interesting? Not very much. All right. Good enough. Around for anything cool. Hard lock. Oh, that's a lot of bottle caps. I'll probably take a psycho. Always a little bit thiefy when there's something good. Hmm. Alright, so that's enough of that. Uh, back to Joanna, like we said we were going to do. So she's all the way in the back. Give up her weapons again. This time she's happily waiting in her room for us. Hey there, gorgeous. And we do have a message to you from Carlitos. He wants to get you out of here. And now she's going to make us go all the way back to see him. But I think we just leveled up. Yes, we did. Alright, so level 29. We will pound some more stuff into survival so that we can get that to 100 when we want to. And boy, we're running out of things that I really want to put four more points in. Put it into explosives. But I'm not sure I need explosives. I guess let's just go ahead and stop moving science stuff. So we now have 341 of. 450 possible hit points, I believe. Get rested up. And all the way back. The very long walk to the back of the vault. Hey, it's you. And yes, we want to get her out. Yes, right. please help us get her out. 
But now we have to meet her at midnight. Now, the thing is about meeting her at midnight is it's not midnight yet. And so what I like to do is I happen to know that there is some stuff here in the Ultra Lux that I can get done that also has timing stuff. And, I, you know, it all kind of lines up and then you end up by midnight, you know, just efficiently Thank moving through the day. But so here we have the weird mask guys and we have your pardon, stranger, but Heck Gunderson and he's looking for his he's looking for his uh, his son and he's been here somewhere at the hotel and he's wondering about these white glove societies alright so we are doing beyond the beef uh, which is not a fundamentally hard quest, but it's a little bit um, remember ye the remember the way. There's there's places you can kind of go wrong in it, um, but we're gonna we're gonna pop on through it in what I feel like is kind of the easiest way to do this. I've done it in various ways, but this is welcome to the ultra you know, luck. the lowest risk of damage way that actually does the whole quest what? and brings us out on top. So, first we introduce ourselves to the proprietor who um, has outlawed the eating of human meat, as it turns out. But uh, we're not going to discuss that with her because if we discussed it with her um, or if we if we lie to her and say, it's okay, <laughs> I like to eat human f I like to eat people too, <laughs> then, then she will be mad or a little mad. She'll be, she'll think less of us. All right, okay. so she tells us to talk to Mortimer, and Mortimer is, you can have a little more interesting conversation with. So we are going to go investigate the investigator. Where'd that investigator go? Hi, I'm Let's see. on an investigation, too. So we get his key, no. um, but if we talk to him a little bit more, we can say, ah. I've heard your group. Deny it, and he denies it, and we supply it. We say, I feel the hunger too. And so we can get him to uh, admit that he has, um, he's uh, been basically kidnapping people to feed to the other members of society in a plot to get them to have actually eaten human meat so that they'll have to eat human meat or something like that. Uh, and so there's a whole bunch of we can go kidnap the guy and put his body in the thing. We can we could even give him one of our followers in uh, in return. Go go lock the fo our follower in the refrigerator, uh, or we can go ahead and let Hex Son uh, make him be the thing. But meanwhile, we've got to find the so the choices ahead. And what's about to happen is when I walk in this room. There are going to be a couple of bad guys. Fortunately, not heavily armed, but uh, we definitely want to be ready to do some up close and personal damage. Go ahead and get the hollow point ammo in here. Just for precaution, we will take a medax. All right, there they are. We're deep in the room, here they come. A white glove guy. Go for the head. Sure. All right, got him. Now let me. That's good. Go a cripple and a hit, and they are down. Okay. Uh, they come in and they. They don't have um, guns, they just have whackers. So that's that's good. Now we can get some white soci white glove society masks and other stuff, which uh, attire, as they say. Attire and a mask. So now we are dressed as a member and that will be useful. So we have a matchbook, and the matchbook says, meet us at 4 p.m. in the special special room. The, what's it called? The steam room. Down in the spa. Uh, and see, so here's how we're, this is part of this progressing through the day thing. It will eventually end up at midnight back at the Gamora doing the Gamora stuff. But right now, we need to Things wait till 4 o'clock. And go... 
to the bathhouse. Where strangely you can't drink the water or they get mad. Okay, so there's the steam room. And we need to wait until 4 p.m. ish. So let's wait until a little bit after 3. Okay, there comes the guy we want to meet with. We can come back in here. Let's wait a little longer. First, me, I should probably get ready because we're going to have another one of these types of situations. Hi, I'm just standing here in my power armor. That's not surprising at all. Who guy in power armor. That's who I am. Oh, wait, Matt. gal in power armor. Okay, so he tells us some stuff, and he gives us an idea that we could, instead of feeding them a person, we could actually only pretend to feed them a person, feed them a special recipe that tastes like a person, and then that will screw up Mortimer's plan, and then they will punish... <laughs> Mortimer. Uh, what if for what his, if his revelation deception? If you could somehow replace, so he goes through this plan, and Philippe is the chef. Okay, so that gets us all whatever. We come come up with a plan of how to do all those things, and then suddenly someone shoots him in the head, or the body, or something. Now here he comes. The assassin, he hasn't actually seen us yet, and so he gets to be shot in the head himself. And so obviously as long as you're ready for that, it's no big deal. Now there is a formal wear, and formal wear is one of the things that we can give to What's-Her-Name, and she will be very happy with us. Veronica, because she wants a dress. That will count as an actual dress. A nice dress, even. Not a, not a boring dress. So, now we're allowed to just go down here into the back of the kitchen, past all the guys hosing down you, corpses. What are you thinking? There's this one guy that says, hey, what are you doing here, even though we're in his garb. Uh, but then, with a speech or repair or whatever check, we can get past him. Now, here, we have the cook, Philippe, Why are you and there's still? several different ways we can go with him. We can tell him there's rats in his refrigerator and then lock him in. Um, what kind? We can diagnose him, and I think we can actually talk him, yes, okay, so we talked him into... Forget Getting out of here, and he gives us his Leave recipe because he doesn't even care. Uh, now, can I make him also well, go in the refrigerator? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, so he's not actually going to go in the refrigerator, but hes I can still do the speech check and get the points for it. Okay, so our survival is so high, we can just all by ourselves improvise a meal of fake human flesh. And How many? Call the waiter. But. Oh, I'll but be... here we okay. Uh, we've got to wait till it's seven o'clock. So again, progressing through the day. So we will wait till about six thirty. Seven thirty. How may I serve the meal? Okay. Now, while we're serving the meal, we need to not get seen by the guy. I think he might not like us. I can't remember. Maybe he doesn't care. Maybe only if I let Ted out does he care. But in any event, I want to let him get on going because he's going to take the meal up to the banquet and everything's going to be fine. Lots of weird bottles of crud if we need any crud here. And now we can disengage the lock and this is where we that tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles, I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Find Ted Gunderson My talking to himself, and we can introduce our, ourselves to him. 
And if we go through all the stuff, we can get him to follow our plan. And just shut up and follow me, and everything will be fine, Ted. Okay, so now we are just following the other guy up here, making sure we're not catching up to him. And here we are, and Mortimer's giving his speech. Uh, and we can't come out yet. Um, we have to listen to his speech. We can sit around and loot this stuff. Across the room over there is the is the bouncer for the White Glove Society. Get my stupid hunger taken care of here. Knowing we stood to gain much, little did we know how much we'd lose in the process. So here is. We've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. Now he is just planning. But we are living a lie. There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Oh, a sweeter meter. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways. Do not go back to the old ways. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't Let me finish, Marjorie. You are all now guilty of a greater crime, one that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a So he thinks he's fed them all human flesh. Except we made we fake human the flesh. Delicious, the, most exclusive the sweetest of meats. And tonight, and he's going to reveal. Society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon All right, now once he's done his thing, what we the? can go up and that? say uh, you... loudly, bad news, <laughs> secret recipe, too late. Yeah. I'll begin anew. And he's going to go begin anew elsewhere. So now we can go over to Marjorie, and she is very happy. Ooh. And since we have a high enough faction in um, the strip, he she will let us join the White Glove Society. Originally, we did. So you have my full she support. Sponsors, and, I hope and you know you can come here and get free food now and stuff. Um, but we have fully solved the White Glove How Society. Now we can say hi to this scary bouncer and we are on our way out oh and there goes Mortimer I wonder if I can actually catch Mortimer at this point it doesn't look like it he's going pretty fast I don't think I want to draw a gun and start a fight in here um, oh right and we need to do heck Gunderson so okay goodbye Mortimer have fun have fun despawning. Oh my God, Ted! Are so you here right? comes Ted to his reunion with his father, and everything's happy and good. You got me, my boy. So no. we can finish the Beyond the Beef quest and say no. Don't just drive them to eat each other. Oh. Go ahead and trade with them. And there we go. Move up another level of strip hood. All right. So that. Um, Finishes up with the White Glove Society. And we'll put the just the mirror formal wear on. And you can see that on me it comes through as a nice dress, so that's what we'll be eventually giving to Veronica. Uh, but we will use this as a nice, I think it's a nice and appropriate costume as we drink in this fountain. <laughs> and then do some more some more New Vegas quests. So now we're approaching midnight. So now we can go do some more Gamora. And we find Joanna. Now she's hey, dancing down here it? for no particular reason. And we have to have her go to her room. Go to your room. She won't talk except in her room. Do the infamous wait an hour thing. Hey, what's up? Um, okay, but right, this again. Hey, Just, what's up? Wondering if there's... Oh, I didn't even have to go out. Okay. Something. I just talked to her extra time. Hey. Hey. What's, what's up? up? Alright, so she's ready to get out. Um, but she won't do it until midnight. Hey. What's up? And uh let's do this. Alright, so here she comes. And we can play push de push face. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 get to the door. Push, push, push. Go, go, go. Takes a long time. And 
eventually we get to where we meet the Come other on. friends because we're getting her and her friends out and then we have to say that we're, we're ready. ready again Let's... Come on people are uh, oh no I don't yeah that's just let's head out get out of here okay we are helping them escape. Right, so don't mind us all walking in our pretty dresses and uh, sniper berets <laughs> down the down the main street. Look, friend, don't get oh, me. Oh, there's Mr. Holdout. He's a little bit buggy. Um, Look, I you know I'm too I'm too well known in the uh, strip to uh, get to trade with control. him anymore. Which I think is kind of cute. You know, uh, you did too well on the scale to to do a thing. Is that? Oh, wow! We have a guy right there. I think they're about to actually kill him with their. Yes. Okay. Fine. That's a more fitting end for him. Goodbye, free side thug, <laughs> and free side thug body part. And so we follow Joanna out here, and they'll find Carlitos once they finish pathfinding. And. Everything will be happily ever after, except wait, what's that? It's irritating people, and they come up and talk to me. Well, well, well. Except Carlitos, wait. and so let's see. What? We have to just deceive him All into the... some whatever, and then everything's actually fine. And now, now we don't know how we pulled this off. Um. No, helping you is enough, so we'll just gain a whole bunch of karma. You truly Joanna, are Joanna, happy with us also. And at 341 of 450 possible hit points, we are going to stop here. Next time, we will return to the Gamora, and we'll do the rest of the Gamora, because there's that whole other quest about Kachino and whatever bad thing is going on with the Omeritas. We will do that next time, and we will see you then when you only live once.